Hello and welcome to my what I eat in a week busy edition. That means you'll get a lot of quick and easy recipes, but also meal prep inspiration. So I wish you a lot of fun. time this morning so I made an extra delicious breakfast. <laughs> I would call this apple caramel Weetabix bowl. Let's try it. Mm. <laughs> Apples and caramel, one of the best combinations. Changed my mind. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Lunch is packed and once I'm in school you can see how I made my meal prep. Hello, here's the Maya from the past and I will meet them now. Bell pepper, ginger and garlic. Let me tell you one thing, crispy chili oil is a true game changer. I will use that for frying. First I fried the bell pepper, ginger and garlic for a few minutes. Then I crumbled in a little bit of smoked tofu and fried that as well. In the meantime, I cooked the noodles and in the pan I made the sauce with peanut butter, soy sauce, vinegar and a little bit agave. Then I put my noodles back in the pan, gave it a really really good stir until fully coated and that was my lunch. Doesn't it look good? Okay, it's 22 7 now and I'm finally back home. It's been a long day and my mom was so nice and bought me this little or or big chocolate muffin and I'm so looking forward to eating this now. <laughs> Never too much chocolate. Mm. Just what I need right now. <laughs> Actually I'm not a big fan of tempeh but I will give it one more chance. And there's no better way to do that than with a burrito. First I finely chopped one onion and two cloves of garlic and fried it in a little bit of oil until slightly browned. Then I crumbled in the tempeh and for flavor I've added a lot of seasoning plus some barbecue sauce and a little water. And that's it. Here's how you make a flavorful salad for your burrito. Lettuce, carrot shreds, orange juice adds a nice twist and this is a little bit ras el hanout. Now there's flavor in there. <laughs> Always toast your burritos. I would say dinner looks pretty good and this is the last tempeh chance. I'm excited. <laughs> mm. I actually like it that way. I think I'm gonna have it more often. <laughs> this is my dessert. I saw these toast roll-ups on TikTok and I just had to try them. I mean toast with chocolate spread just can be good. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Cinnamon raisin bagel with coconut almond butter and a really ripe parasimum and cinnamon of course. A combination you should definitely try. And that's my quick breakfast. My last two lessons got cancelled. That means I'm way earlier at home than I actually thought and I can have lunch at home. On Instagram I've seen a chickpea masala sandwich and it really inspired me so I will make a tofu masala sandwich. We've got sandwich bread, we've got spices, we've got tofu, 
a little sauce, tomato paste and some toppings. What a beautiful sandwich. I'm excited to try. Mm. It's fire. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this now before heading to the Brooklyn with my mom because I've got an apartment there. ready for a snack and I've got here two frozen bananas which I will turn into a vegan milkshake. I chopped it up so it's easier for the blender. Some peanut butter, some plant milk and some chocolate protein powder. It turned out super duper creamy. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Kind of incredible that you can make such delicious milkshakes with bananas. I love it. <laughs> and look who's back. Look who. My mom and I are about to cook dinner and we've got this beautiful cauliflower here. So we thought we'll make sort of like a general sauce cauliflower and tofu with rice. Welcome to my dinner voiceover. <laughs> I started by cutting the cauliflower into florets and teared the tofu into little chunks. Then I dusted all of that with some cornstarch and baked it in the oven for around 20 minutes. In the meantime I fried some ginger, garlic and carrots in some oil in a pan and prepared the sauce. For that I used soy sauce, vinegar, agave, a little hoisin sauce, chili flakes for that heat and to thicken it I used cornstarch plus a little bit water. I gave that a really good stir and then added everything back to the pan. Schauen wir mal, ob es gut schmeckt. By the way, I'm trying to eat with chopsticks. I'm trying. <laughs> Today we bought this beautiful sourdough bread and I've added a little bit vegan chocolate spread and this is my dessert now. <laughs> I'm making overnight Weetabix, aka overnight oats Kula sister. <laughs> To make my overnight Weetabix, I crumbled them in a bowl, added some flax seeds, vegan yogurt and plant milk. This time I used cashew milk, woo! <laughs> and mixed everything and set it aside. I wanted to make sort of a chocolate ganache, so I combined a, chocolate, a vegan chocolate spread with some soy yogurt and agave and then spread it all over my Weetabix bowl. I set it in the fridge overnight and had a delicious breakfast in the morning. Welcome to another meal prep. This is sort of a clean out the fridge pasta. So I fried one onion with some mushrooms and parsnips. I absolutely love parsnips by the way. And cooked my rigatoni al dente. Then I've added them to the pan as well as my homemade pesto rosso and of course pasta water. This is super important. I stirred it and enjoyed it in school. And by the way, it was super delicious. Hello, hello. I'm back from school and kind of hungry. And I found this old tortilla in our fridge. <laughs> kind of hard, <laughs> but I don't want to waste it. And I had a pretty cool idea what to make with it. Take the tortilla and cut it into smaller pieces like that. A little sugar, cinnamon and oil. I will air fry it. To make a caramel dip, I've melted here some Biscoff spread, some agave and vegan yogurt. Ta-da! Mm. 
probably the best thing that could have happened to this old tortilla. Mm. <laughs> of course, you could also bake them in the oven, but I just love my air fryer. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm back from the driver's license theory class and my mom cooked for us. A really nice dinner. We've got here some vegan köfte. She used my recipe. <laughs> then a yogurt dip, some wedges and schwarzwurzel. I think it's black salsify in English. Kind of tastes like asparagus. 